Hey everyone. Welcome to Top Tech News. This is your news channel for getting updated with the latest tech news headlines and their impact on business and our lives. To read the full news article for any of the news that we cover, simply click on its link given below in the description. To stay updated, show us some love and hit the subscribe button below and turn on notifications by clicking the bell icon. This way you would be informed whenever we upload a new video. Hi, my name is D and I am your host for today. Today's top tech headlines are YouTube 4K comes to Apple TV, iPhone, and iPad. Arc Vector Ultra Premium Electric Motorcycle is not dead. Ford's design for a removable range extender. Tesla to offer Vector Space Bird's Eye View with FSD. GM unveils stunning new Buick Electra electric car. Let's get started. YouTube 4K comes to Apple TV, iPhone, and iPad. Apple's premier set-top box would finally be able to play 4K YouTube videos at their native resolution instead of being stuck at 1080p. But though Apple's latest software updates did bring YouTube 4K to the Apple TV 4K, the frustrations aren't necessarily over. It turns out you're limited to watching 4K at 30fps, instead of a smooth 60 frames per second, and without the depth of color and contrast that high dynamic range, HDR, provides. The Verge confirmed with Google that for now Apple TV only supports 4K at 30fps, with SDR content. On the plus side, the latest iPhones and iPads do support 4K 60fps HDR content, if you've got iOS 14 installed. Arc Vector Ultra Premium Electric Motorcycle is not dead. The Arc Vector has ridden some proverbial twisty roads over the last few years, even before ever reaching it to production. But reports of the Arc Vector electric motorcycle's death have been greatly exaggerated. The high-tech and high-dollar electric motorcycle debuted with fanfare at the 2018 ICMA Milan Motorcycle Show, but then ran into funding trouble from flaky investors that led to the company's bankruptcy in 2019. Now the founder and lead designer, Mark Truman, reportedly managed to buy the company back from administration and is ready to resurrect the high-tech bike. Originally sporting an eye-watering price tag of £90,000, approximately US$117,000, the Arc Vector is certainly not a typical electric motorcycle. With its designer hailing from Jaguar's own Skunk Works design department, the Arc Vector was certainly a one-of-a-kind electric motorcycle. It featured a carbon fiber monocoque design that gave the futuristic cafe racer an unmistakable profile. The front swing arm suspension in place of traditional telescopic forks and the resulting hub center steering also add to the unique design of the bike. Specked with a 95 kilowatts, 127 horsepower, electric motor, the Arc Vector reaches an electronically limited top speed of 200 km per hour, 124 miles per hour. The bike also carries a 0 to 100 km per hour, 0 to 62 miles per hour, time of just 3.2 seconds. The 16.8 kilowatt hours battery pack can provide a range of up to 436 km, 271 miles, on the next cycle. DC fast charging enabled a recharge of the pack in just 45 minutes. The bike was also designed to operate with a human-machine interface that included a tech-embedded jacket to provide haptic feedback warnings as well as a special heads-up display, HUD, helmet allowing the rider to keep their eyes on the road while still seeing pertinent information. While the Arc Vector may not have met its original production goals, Truman's resurrection of the company is giving the bike a new chance. The original goal was to produce 399 units to match the bike's battery voltage of 399 volts, but now things are apparently going to move just a bit slower. As Mark explained, without the pressure of a big company, we're taking things a little slower now. The first bikes will be delivered to their customers in 12 months. We are going to offer 10 customers a very special opportunity on the first 10 vectors. I'm not revealing what this is just yet but watch this space. Ford's design for a removable range extender. Ford has a design for a removable range extender that can drop into an electric pickups bed, which could possibly become an option for the upcoming F-150 electric. Range extenders, which are basically generators, haven't become popular with electric vehicles buyers. It's basically the same concept as a plug-in hybrid, PHEV, with the main difference being that a FEV generally has a short battery electric range and mainly relies on its gas tank for longer distances. On the other hand, an EV with a range extender generally mainly relies on the battery and the generator only provides some additional range, but both can recharge their battery independently from burning gas, unlike an hybrid. The best example is the BMW i3 which was offered with a range extender option. Now Ford has applied for a patent on an interesting solution for a range extender that can be dropped into an electric pickups bed. In the patent application, Ford says that the generator is shaped like a toolbox. 
An electrified vehicle according to an exemplary aspect of the present disclosure includes, among other things, a drive wheel, a battery pack, a cargo space and a generator removably positioned within the cargo space and adapted to selectively output power for either charging the battery pack or propelling the drive wheel. The generator is shaped like a toolbox. Ford mentions that the system could have a capacity of 5, 10, or even 15 gallons depending on the configuration. While companies often patent technologies that don't always make it to market, this patent is particularly interesting in the context of Ford working on its very first electric pickup truck the F-150 electric. Ford is expected to bring the Ford F-150 electric pickup to market in 2022. Tesla to offer vector space bird's eye view with FSD. Elon Musk confirmed that a new vector space bird's eye view is coming to Tesla vehicles under the FSD package. Bird's eye view, a vision monitoring system that renders a view of a vehicle from the top to help park and navigate tight spaces, has become a popular feature in premium vehicles, and it has even moved down market over the last few years. It is generally made possible due to an array of five or six camera around the vehicle. That's something that Tesla already has for its autopilot driver assist system and yet, the automaker never released a bird's eye view feature. Now CEO Elon Musk says that the feature is coming to Tesla vehicles. It sounds like the new feature is going to be offered under the full self-driving capability package, which recently saw a price increase to $8,000. Elon didn't offer a timeline on the release of the feature. GM unveils stunning new Buick Electroelectric car. GM has unveiled a new Buick Electroelectric vehicle concept and claims a range of over 400 miles with GM's Ultium battery. The Buick Electra was a flagship luxury vehicle for the Buick brand for decades and now GM might bring it back as an electric car. In Shanghai this week, say GM, GM's joint venture in China, unveiled the Buick Electra concept vehicle, a sleek new electric crossover concept. While the concept was unveiled by GM's joint venture in China under the Buick brand, the automaker referred to it as a global concept and said that it is a sneak peek at Buick's vision for a new intelligent electric future. While it is very much a concept and not a vehicle ready for production, GM said that the vehicle would be equipped with a GM Ultium battery system. GM claims that the Ultium battery would enable a range of 660 kilometers, 410 miles, and the powertrain would have a 435 kilowatts output. As of now, no timeline was disclosed on when a production version of the vehicle would hit the market. Well, that's about it for today. Hope you found it helpful. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications by clicking the bell icon. And do show us some love by clicking on the thumbs up button. Have a wonderful day everyone and we will be back again soon.